Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we are based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I would like to do today, guys, is show you a real simple but creative lawn effect in Adobe Photoshop. In a sense, what I'd like to do is make a number look like grass is coming out of it. Just simply using layer masking and brushes, I'll be able to create a real modern looking piece of work. And what I'd like for you to do today is take the steps that I show you, and I guarantee the end result will be very impressive, and you'll be able to showcase this to many people, and they'll be like, wow. So first of all, obviously, what I need to do is create the number. I'm going to get my type tool here. I'm going to click on the document, and I'm going to use the number two. I just need to enlarge the number, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of Command T for Mac users or Control T for Windows users. And I'm going to resize from the center point there by pressing option for Mac users or alt for window users. Okay, pretty happy there with the size of it and the position of it. Now, what I do have already is I have a preset image of uh, some grass, uh, a football pitch, let's say. So what I need to do is just swap the layers around. So I'm going to bring the number two underneath the uh, football pitch layer there. And what I need to do is reselect that type layer. So what I need to do is come to the layer thumbnail of this layer. And if I press command for Mac users or control for window users and click, as you can see there, I have reselected that um, number two. And then coming to the football pitch layer, I'm going to add a layer mask like so. Next step would be is I need to now reselect the layer mask layer. So yet again, use that keyboard shortcut of command click for Mac or control T, sorry, control click for window users. Like so. And then what I need to do now is come to our paths window and I need to come to this little icon here. Okay. And we need to make the work path from the selection. Like so. And now what we need to do now is start using our brushes. So what I've done is I've downloaded some uh, grass brushes uh, from Brush Easy. There are a number of brushes that are out there on the internet uh, for you to download, but I'm going to use one that I've had preset already. And we're going to use this one here. But what I'd like to do is manipulate uh, the, uh, the brush itself. So I'm going to go to our brush settings and I'm just going to come to our shape dynamics. I'm just going to bring up the angle jitter to... 100% there. Let's come to our scattering as well. Maybe bring up the count just a little bit. I don't want to bring it too much. There around there. And now all, this, all you need to simply do now is press enter, guys. And you can see you're creating a nice sort of brush look effect around the edge of that path. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.